Hi, my name is Dave Keith, and I'm with Nutanix Services. Today, I will demonstrate Com's ability to deploy a fully functioning CI-CD pipeline. Today's demo will deploy a CI-CD pipeline with the following components via the base blueprint. Internal private Docker registry, Git Alight Git repository, Artifactory, Jenkins, and a developer workstation. The developer workstation can also be deployed separately via its own blueprint with the Git repository and private Docker registry integrations pre-configured. The demo application blueprint deploys a three-tier application with MongoDB, Node.js, and Nginx services. This blueprint is launched via the Jenkins pipeline. Here we can see the high-level interactions between the components of the various blueprints. The flow of the CI-CD pipeline can be visualized here. The developer checks in code, which starts the build process in Jenkins. The build process packages the application artifacts and pushes them to Artifactory, where they are pulled via the COM application blueprint and deployed to the appropriate components of the application stack. The pipeline also creates Docker images of each application tier and pushes them to the private Docker registry. Let's jump into the demo. To launch the blueprint that will create the CI-CD pipeline, all we need to do is give the deployment a name and click Create. The blueprint deploys all of the components, sets up the connectivity between the various components, creates the required Jenkins credentials and pipeline jobs, clones the empty Git repository to the developer workstation, and pre-stages the sample application into the empty Git repository on the workstation. Let's fast forward to the end of this deployment and dive a little deeper into what's being deployed. Here I will copy the Jenkins URL and admin password. We can take a look at what has been deployed for Jenkins. Here are two pipeline jobs that have been pre-created as part of the deployment that will be used to build, test, and deploy the application. Here's the Docker registry that has been created as part of the deployment, and here are the tags that the repository contains. And in Artifactory, we can see that there are no artifacts deployed as of yet. Let's SSH into the new dev workstation that has been created by this blueprint. In the git repo directory, we can see that the code is yet to be checked in. Let's go ahead and do a git add, commit, and push. Back to Jenkins, we can see the DevOps job running. We can see the output from the job, including the successful tests. Looking at the pipeline view, we can see each of the stages as they progress. Once complete, we can see that both jobs have completed successfully. Now we can look at the apps in COM and see that we have the DevOps 782 Jenkins 1 deployment underway. Viewing the progress, we can see the three-tier app is being deployed with MongoDB, Node.js, and Nginx components. Now that the deployment is complete, we can see the app has been deployed and is completely functional. Let's go ahead and make a change to our code. We will simply change the color of the box to add data to our application from blue to, well, let's see what we get. Let's get add, commit, and push. Switching back to Jenkins, we see the DevOps job running again. Now that build number two is complete, we can see the DevOps 782 Jenkins 2 deployment running. Now that the deployment is complete, we can see that our app is up and running, but now with a fuchsia box instead of blue. We can also see the added collateral in Artifactory, and also the new repository and the tags added to that repository in the Docker registry. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo. If you are interested in finding out more regarding this solution, please contact us at services at Nutanix.com.